In this video, we'll introduce exponential families. Exponential families. So it turns out that many common uh, probability distributions are special cases of exponential families. So if you can prove something for exponential families in general, then you've proven it for a, a whole range of, of distributions. And exponential families, it turns out, do have some marvelous mathematical properties. So, so this is a very useful generalization. So here's the definition. An exponential family, I'll just write x fam, is a set p sub theta where theta ranges over some 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 set uh, capital theta of it's either pmfs so each of these p sub theta is a pmf or a pdf one or the other and each of them is on defined on rd so this is a pmf or a pdf on rd such that it can be written in the following way. So x is some vector in Rd, and p sub theta of x equals e, well, let me write it this way, x, the exponential function, the same as e to the sum, as i goes from 1 to, let's say, m for some m, of eta, this is going to be a function, eta sub i of theta, our parameter, times, uh, let's say, s sub i. s is also a function, or s i is a function of x, times a function h of x. So I'm introducing lots of functions here, and we'll say exactly a little more what, what these are in a second, divided by another function, z of theta. And here, this capital theta is it's some subset of R, uh, well, let's see, where's theta living? Let's say R, K. Some integers. So these are some integers, D, K, and M. So theta, it lives in R, K. X lives in R, D. And we're summing over, so we have M different functions here. So you could also write this as, in a little more compact notation, if I define, maybe I'll switch colors here, if I define n to be a function, so, well, let me back, let me, let me say what these are a little bit more first before we get into that. So, so theta is in Rk, we just said that, x is in Rd, eta i for each eta is a function from capital theta to R, right, it's taking some theta and it's giving us some real value, S sub i of x, or rather I'll just say S sub i, is a function from Rd, it's taking an x, and it's giving us a real number, H is a function from Rd, it's taking an x, and it's giving us a non-negative real number, and Z let me put z over here. That's, by the way, that's infinity. And z is a function from capital theta to also non-negative numbers. So here, this these eta i's are sort of functions of the parameters. So you, these are sort of well, I won't go. The, they don't really have a name. S i's. It turns out these are we haven't defined sufficient statistics, but it turns out that these are sufficient statistics statistics for this distribution, or rather, the you know the vector of these is a sufficient statistic. H is well, we'll call it the so this H H encodes the support of the distribution and in some sense sort of the scaling, I'll put that in quotes, scaling, 
So the support you can roughly think of as the set, uh, the subset of RD where the distribution is non-zero. Technically speaking, it's the the closure of all the, or rather, it's the the intersection of all the closed sets for which that have probability one. That's technically speaking the definition, but you can think of it where this distribution is non-zero. And uh, this z is a very important function. It's called the partition function. And so z actually is, is sort of trivial in some I mean, well, it's sort of non-interesting in one sense because it, it's just the normalizing constant for this distribution. The theta is some parameter. And this distribution, we could say, well, it's proportional to this part, leaving out the z. And then the z is just a normalizing constant. But z has some very, very special properties that make it very important. So we could also write this, this thing, p theta of x, as, let's see, do I have room here? Let me put it down here. If I made a vector out of these n's, or out of n's, rather, eta's and s's, then we could also write this as, let me switch colors, we could write this as p sub theta of x is e to the minus eta of theta transpose times s of x, h of x divided by z of theta. So here I'm just making a vector out of these functions. So I'm just a so eta is now a, a function from theta to r, what is it, m. And the same thing for s. s is a function from rd to, to r, m. So this is the same, same thing. And actually, I guess it was kind of silly here. I didn't need to put this minus sign in. I'm not sure why I did that. So let's, let's take that out. That was unnecessary. Minus could always go into one of these functions. Yeah. So we take that minus out. Okay, so this is this is the nice expression here for an exponential family. And the family, right, is just the, all the distributions where theta ranges over this, this set, capital theta. All the distributions that you get from this. So what are some examples? Let's look at some examples of exponential. That was sort of a very abstract, very general definition, and now let's let's start to make it a little more concrete. What are we talking about here? So here's an example. The most, maybe the thing you would most expect to be in the exponential family, the exponential distribution. So if x is, if we have some random variable, distributed according to an exponential with, say, parameter theta, to be consistent with our notation here. And theta is strictly positive. Then the PDF for that random variable is equal to theta times e to the minus theta x. And it's equal to that when x is greater or equal to 0 and it's 0 when x is less or equal to 0. So I'm going to put an indicator function here to, you know, I could have put something like this, you know, if x is greater or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. But let's just do it this way, and that will we'll be able to put it in this form more easily. So we have this, and now we need to somehow coerce it into looking like this, but it's really going to be pretty easy. You can start or already see the, the E here. So let's just match this up. So we've got, so what's, so eta of theta we'll just take to be, say, theta. S of x we'll take to be, well, we need to, to match here, so let's make it minus x. H of x Let's see, that sort of matches up with this part. We've got an x here. This is a function of x. So let's take that to be the, this indicator. And now we're just left over with this theta. So let's make 
z of theta 1 over theta. And there, there we have it. This, is, uh, this shows that this distribution is an exponential family. And here, let me just point out that the set, capital Theta, remember here that Theta had to be strictly positive for our exponential distribution, otherwise this is not, uh, it doesn't normalize, it's not a distribution. So this is the set from 0, not including 0, to infinity. Uh, here, K, Theta is k is 1, d is 1. x is, you know, x is just a one-dimensional thing. And, um, yeah, so that's it. So the support here, the support is this non-negative real numbers. That's what I meant by the support. Alright, so that's a simple example. And let me give you uh, briefly Another example. Well, let me let me give you some other. Yeah, let me give you an example here. Of this was a an example with a PDF. So here's an example with a PMF. So a Bernoulli random variable with parameter. Let's make it theta. For this, we have p theta of x, the probability of x. So here x is either 0 or 1 for a Bernoulli random variable, and it's 1 with probability theta, 0 with probability 1 minus theta. So this equals, well we could write it p, uh, so, so it's theta if x equals 1, 1 minus theta if x equals 0. And this thing we could also write as theta so we'll use our use some more indicator functions to get a nice sort of closed form expression here. Or at least in a single without branching and stuff like this. X equals one, theta to the indicator that x equals one, and one minus theta to the indicator that x equals zero. And now we want to get it in this form, or this form, right? So somehow, so this doesn't look like, I mean, where's the exponential here? Well, we can coerce it into having an exponential. So let's, we can always take the log. So here let's, I'm going to take logs and stuff. So let's assume that theta is not 0 or 1. Let's assume that for now. So we'll only consider this, this family. So we can always take exponential and then the log of something and we get back the original thing assuming it was like non-zero or non-negative so as long as it's positive and if zero if theta is between zero and one then these are these are positive so that's exp of log of the same thing right indicator x equals one one minus theta x equals zero and we, if we take this log of the product is the sum of the logs. So this is indicator x equals 1 log theta plus indicator x equals 0 log 1 minus theta. So here, now we have, at least this way, the way I did it just now, we have switch colors. We have eta one of theta is log of theta. Eta two of theta is log one minus theta. Let's see what else we have. Oh yeah, s one of x is the indicator that x equals one. S two of x is indicator x equals zero. And um, z is is one. H of x is one, or rather, h of x. Well, let's see. H of x equals 